Hey guys, I just realized all I do is review bags, but I have never reviewed SLGs and these are my favorite ones from LV. I do not baby these and I've had them each about two or three years and I throw them around. This is the Victorine compact wallet so it fits in so many bags, I just interchange it in any bag. And this is the key clay that I don't even feel the need to buy those flat card holders because this thing does that all plus more because it has a ring and it keeps coins because it has a zipper. So I'll start with this. It's an empty pocket and this is why I don't think I need a key holder. It's usually flat but I always stuff it and it just gets that puffed out shape after having so much in it. As for wear, sometimes the gold color can wear on products, but this looks good. I wasn't terribly picky when I picked it up in store. Like it always says out of stock online and then I went to a store and they had about three. But this had the most symmetrical pattern with the LV right in the middle. And some did have a, a like a bow out on the bottom or people are concerned about stitching where they can see through the bottom but that's not the case with this one and the hardware has some scratches as expected and on the zipper but it works just fine so I stuffed this so what fits I'm gonna put I have a bunch of cards let's try five four five or six and I do find I need to go where the zipper is at an angle to go in. Because as you can see, it opens all the way here for room for the chain, but not all the way where the zipper is. So it wouldn't work if I did it this way. See, it doesn't go. I know that I have to put them this way, but that was so easy. So that's six cards. And as you can imagine, you could probably fit a bunch of coins in there, which I won't try. But to really test, I'm just going to see if a very basic, small chapstick could fit. I haven't done that myself, but it may not. Oh, oh my gosh, it does, but why would I ever want to do that? But that just is an example of what can fit in this clay. I do put bills in here. But I fold them like in half or quarters, half and then half again. So I've got a Canadian bill. I have to do this if I want to put cash. Um, there's room. So if I did it in half, let me see. Because it will not fit height wise, it will not zip. Um, if you have thinner bills than a Canadian one, then it might work for you, which would be perfect. So, let's see if I do it in a third. I don't think it makes a difference because I'm still basically folding my bill. But that works. And so that's how I carry cards, driver's license, credit or debit. I'm just going to put a bunch of Canadian coins. This is a lot of coins, too. I wouldn't ever pack it this full. But sometimes change does accumulate. Six cards, the thick kind, not like a thin paper card. Coins and cash, and done. And then it opens. Which way does it open? Down and out to put coins. This hasn't gotten loose or broken, it's still pretty tight. I don't think you'd ever lose a key with that. Now let's see if I can fit, or what I can fit in the Victorine. So the wear on this is good. For the Victorine, I do not baby it, and that's the wear on the button. Scratches as expected. The color and the monogram print looks good. Pretty symmetrical everywhere. I just ordered it the store and I wasn't picky. I just took, took the last one in store. The glazing looks good. The only place... Oh, the button snaps really well. Engraved with Louis Vuitton there. 
I have used cards so you can see where they're stretched. The gold is, looks good. And as I cleaned my wallet earlier and checked out the wear, this, that, this is the only place where I see wear. Where I see wear. <laughs> um, stitching is holding up here where the wallet opens to slide the bills in the bill compartment. Um, it's a huge bill compartment from one edge to literally way into the corner, I mean the flap. So that could fit a lot of papers, bills, receipts, coupons. And its coin or zip compartment is here. So to see what fits, I'm just going to put all these coins that I had in the clay into the Victorine coin compartment. I don't know if I would ever pack it this much, but we're going to see how good the capacity of this. So this zipped compartment affects the closure versus if it were on the outside, it wouldn't. But it does affect how much you can stuff in the wallet. Let's see if I have two. I have put two cards per slot. So if it's got three and three, you could potentially fit six. See, that over time will loosen. These slots were very tight when I got the wallet. I don't know if I can... I think I can, but you see where the wear right there, I won't push it. So that's already two, two and one, five, six, seven, eight. They're getting pretty tight, even though this wallet is two to three years old. Nine. And I think that's how I had it before I did the video. I only had two in each those in each of those slots. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Forgot to mention that they have slip pockets here and here. Ten. Earlier I removed band-aids from here, so that's something you could put. That one went real easy, real easy. Ten, eleven. And it, because this fits so much, I just have, as I said, bills and coupons because that's what I might carry. Receipts. But this has so much room. So I have stuffed other cards. So this is like four thick plastic cards here. So four cards, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and a bunch of coins. Oh, it is stuffed and it fits. It looks pretty puffy. So with Google Pay or Android Pay, I don't, or I don't know, I guess Apple Pay, you don't need this many cards in a wallet which is why I end up just using this all the time, sometimes as my wallet in mini bags. But that has is pretty high capacity for a compact wallet. Um, so for comparison, size comparison, this is a credit card RFID holder. So bigger than the wallet. And that's there. That's what I usually have in this kit. Let's see if I take out two. And I do believe uh, it can fit in the slot with the RFID protector. Yes. So you could probably do that with all the other slots. So... The last thing I'm going to compare this to is a full-size wallet, which is the Josephine, I think? No, Sarah. This is the Sarah wallet. And I always thought this was a cute little mini version. 
right? The <laughs> Victorine and the Sarah. So for sure this stuff is going to fit in the Sarah wallet, so that's not even a question. But let's just see, for example, comparing SLGs. Sorry, I fast forwarded. So I stuffed everything that I had in the Victorine wallet into the Sarah. So this was in the bill compartment, if it's really easy. This is an accordion style wallet. And the Victorine is a trifold wallet. I had 14 cards, I think, in the Victorine. So this has the four. It's got six here um, slots that are 10. So it's 10, but I th can you fit double? Yes, you could. Just remember, they come from the store with really tighter slots. This might take time to get them to fit two. And then I had these cards in the victory as well so I just put them there I put the coins that it had in the zipped compartment in the middle and then there there are even six more slots there and a sl flat slip pocket there so but this is a really great alternative a mini version that can go through all your bags so I hope that was helpful in what fits and where on these babies. Placing is perfect. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.